pages to the hour by showing you how sharp by showing quite the dots. So you want to go by Isaiah chapter five, and uh, we want to start at uh, chapter five, verse uh, we will start at verse eleven. You know, because our people refuse to hear the truth, man, and this is why a lot. This is why. You know, our uh, forefathers went into captivity, you know, for not listening, being disobedient, and just laying on their own understanding and not uh, following the way of the Hawa Bashan and Hawa Shah. You know, and, and, and to this day, you know, we still in that mindset of following after idols and worshiping false gods and, and, and being, you know, uh, calling ourselves different religions. And, and the most high Yahweh Bashan and Hawa Shah is not dealing with that. He's only dealing with the true word of the of, 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 of these scriptures, you know. So let's go to um, Isaiah chapter 5, and we'll start at uh, 11. It says, woe. Now the word woe means destruction. So it says, woe unto them that rise up early in the morning, that they may follow strong drink, that continue until night. Till wine inflame them, and the harp, and the vial, the tablet, the pipe, and wine are in their feasts. But they regard not the work of the Lord, Yahweh Bashan, Yahweh Shah, neither consider the operations of his hands. Therefore, my people are gone into captivity because they have no knowledge, and their honorable men are famished, and their multitude dried up. With thirst. Therefore, hell hath enlarged her depth and opened her mouth without measure. So, this is why our people in a low state, you know, this is why our people are going through so much and they and, and really they can't open their eyes to see, you know, because they, they, they follow a religion that, that's really uh, destroying them, okay, and the truth is being out and they uh, not accepting or acknowledging truth of the word by the true prophet starting off with great millstone bishop elders and, and, and uh affiliate brothers and that's teaching this you know in the same doctrine and name okay so this is why we were destroyed for lack of knowledge you know of your whole and how shall and when you try to tell our people that you know they want to say i'm 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 catholic i'm Baptist, I'm, you know, Seventh-day Adventist, I'm, I'm Jehovah Witness, you know, and, and the Lord is not dealing with all that uh, man-made uh, religion. So let's go over here to, uh, uh, let's go to, uh, we're going to go over here to Second Kings. And we start at uh, 14. I'm going to read this off my phone. And it say, And he carried away all Jerusalem and all the princes and all the mighty men of valor, even 10,000 captives and all the craftsmen and smiths. None remained, save the poorest sort of the people of the land. And he carried away Jehoiakim, Jehoiakim, to Babylon, and the king's mother, and the king's wives, and his officers, and the mighty of the land, those carried he into captivity from Jerusalem to Babylon, and all the men of might, even seven thousand, and craftsmen, and smiths, and thousands, and that were strong and apart from war, even them the king of Babylon brought captive to Bab captive to Babylon, so like so the most high, you know, he he he's he's always put his people into captivity for, for disobeying uh his word. Okay, so when 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 we go off, you know, he set another nation over us. And this is why he do this because for us being stiff-necked people not want to listen 
to the true words and the teachings that's coming out, especially in the last days. You know, it's very important that we, you know, receive this truth and, and receive this word. So let's go over here to the Hosea chapter four, and we'll start at six. It says, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no more priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God's power. I will also forget thy children, as they were increased, so they sinned against me, therefore will I change their glory into shame. So the Most High, he, he, he changed our glory into shame because he put us in this low state. He put these other nations on top of us. You know, and that's all for us not listening and being obedient. And, 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 and by us rejecting the Most High, you know, uh, 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 you know, he, he rejected us and put us in this, con this low condition, you know, through slavery and, and you know, all the afflictions that you know his people go through is all because of us not listening to the knowledge and wisdom that's being shared in the last days so if you reject the lord uh, he's going to reject you and you're not going to have any uh uh no no safety net uh in any last days that we're in okay so you know, we definitely have to be in this word and this truth. So, 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 you know, like I said, you know, when we when we go off the most high, put a, a nation over us, okay, and put us under captivity, and, and, and we still refuse to listen, you know, but those people who refuse to hear this word, you know, if they don't repent and return, you know, they're going to catch that fire. In his last days, that the Most High going to bring to judge Babylon. Okay? So that day is going to come where it's going to be, you know, it's going to melt like an oven. You know, and if our people don't want to listen, you know, uh, you know, they're going to go down with this, uh, you know, they're going to go down in the last days with, with, with Babylon. So, uh, let's go to Titus chapter 3. Chapter 3, chapter 3, verse 3, it says, For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish, disobedient, deceived, serving diverse lusts and pleasures living in malice and envy hateful and hating one another but after that the kingdom and love of God's power our savior Yahweh Bashem Yahusha toward man appeared okay so the Most High Yahweh Bashem Yahusha is 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 going is lifting these curses, you know, uh, uh, off of us by us re returning and repenting, you know, because like the scriptures say, you know, for ourselves also were sometimes foolish, you know, deceived, not knowing the truth, you know. But in the last days, you know, the the, the, the true teaching is going out, you know, and, and and the Most High, he's he's uh he's uh. You know, he's going to be our savior in the last days. Okay, so, you know, man, this, you know, we, we, we got to repent, return to the Most High Yahweh by Shem Yahushua. We can't be leaning on our own understanding, talking about we, 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 religion, and we, you know, we this, we that. Mm-hmm. So let's go to um second John chapter uh 
chapter 1, verse 9. It said, Whosoever transgress and abide not in the doctrine of Yahweh and Yahweh Hamashiach, had not God power. He that abide in the doctrine of Yahweh and Yahweh Hamashiach, he had both the Father and the Son. Okay, and the, and, and the protection comes under Yahweh Hashem and Yahweh So if you don't have this doctrine of truth, then, you know, you know, you're not under that Satan yet. So I'll be back with the next one, Lord willing. Peace.